Another one had, had a massive input into the uh, uh, defence and ultimately the um, Second Front activities in Normandy. Absolutely massive for for the few years before the D-Day landings. They operated in Irvine uh, at the shipyard, a uh, tank landing craft base. The commander-in-chief, Lieutenant Commander Foreman, was a friend of the family and we were often down and around the ship, what was the shipyard, but w- w- which was now operational as the uh, tank landing craft base. Tank landing craft were maintained and serviced to work with a combined operations team working in the area, mainly between Irvine and, and Troon. Uh, involved the, the army at Gales camp, mainly marine commandos. It included work with the naval vessels, taking troops out in, mo- in uh, tank landing craft. Men were pushed overboard and told to get ashore themselves. There were massive exercises of uh, men climbing up the sides of the harbour wall. It was all done in, in strict confidence. I mean, there was there was no talk about it. It wasn't generally known. Everybody knew there were troops massed about the town. Although folk knew there was a buzz going on, they, they didn't know what was happening, you know, Sure side and all that stuff. It would all be done at night, during the early hours and the late hours of the night and early hours of the morning. In those days, there was no great fuss made of things. You got on with it, you did it. That's why I pay great, great tribute to everybody involved in it.